with the cracklets. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a pennies and a boots haul. I went shopping in Dundrum yesterday and I got a few bits, so I'm gonna show them to you and yeah. As I've said before, I am going to Italy and Benidorm next week. I'm going to Italy first in two days, which I'm really excited about with my mom and my dad. And that holiday is gonna be kind of just sightseeing, but relaxing at the same time. I think it's like one day visiting places and the next day we have relaxing and that's gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited. I've never been to Italy, so I'm looking so forward to it. It's roasting over there apparently, so that's always a good thing because hopefully I will get a tan. When I come home from Italy the next day, I'm going to Benidorm with the girls, which is so exciting because I don't even have time to get excited. I will be coming home and I will be washing my clothes and repacking to go on another holiday. So I'm gonna start off with what I got in pennies. And the first thing that I got was this little kind of boho dress, which is purple and it's got a really nice pattern as you can see there and it's you know it's not too short it's not too long and I'm really happy with the length of it because I am a lanky string of piss I am a bit taller than the average person so when I get short dresses they are super short on me I have really long legs and I'm so self-conscious when I wear dresses that length because I can't bend over I can barely cross my legs without flashing my bits to everyone, which nobody wants to see, I'm sure. I'm delighted with this, um, with the length of this dress because it's perfect for me. I love the way it's kind of like a little frilly bit up here and then a dress under. And because there's an elasticated waist, makes me look really skinny, which I'm really happy about. Um, yeah, real, f and it's real flowy and then it's got its own little kind of frilly bit at the bottom. So I absolutely love this dress. And this little dress, was 15 euro. So the next thing that I got in pennies was this beach crop top type thing. And it's black with kind of an Aztec print. You can see it there like when I put my arm in front of it, kind of triangles and crisscrosses. And I absolutely love this because I love the little bobbles at the bottom. They're real kind of boho Indian looking. And I'm gonna say boho a lot in this video because I'm obsessed with it lately. I really like this top. It would be so nice with a pair of shorts, just going to the beach, looking casual, but looking stylish at the same time. Absolutely adore it. And I cannot wait to wear it. This was, I think it was like six euro. The next item that I got yesterday was a bikini. And I only got one bikini because I bought ones in Debenhams last year and they are still in pretty good condition. But I got this little kind of crop bikini and it's black and white with kind of a netted flowy bit. It fits me really well. It's not too long so I won't get a weird tan line from it. It just stops right at the bottom of the boobs there. I got the top in a size eight because I thought six would be a bit skimpy on the L breasticles. So I got an eight and it fits me really well. I'm really happy with it. Also got a matching bottoms. The top for that was like six or seven euro and the bottoms was a fiver. The next thing I got in pennies is something that I cannot go into that shop without buying, which is becoming an awful habit, but I got this flower crown and I'm actually obsessed with it because it's kind of peachy white color and the flowers are massive. So when I put that on my head, you can see it's just gonna look so cool. I'm so excited to wear this, but I'm gonna put it straight in the suitcase because I want to wear it for the first time when I'm actually on holidays. Hopefully I can wait that long. Because it's this color, I think it will go with a lot of things. So that was my flower crown and that was 350. I then got this, and this is probably my favorite thing that I've ever bought in pennies because it looks real Urban Outfitters-esque, um, kind of mink pink styling to it. Um, and it's this dress, you can see the pattern there. And it's a long dress, but it goes to kind of halfway on your, under your knee. I had to sew the straps just here because they were a bit long. It got a crisscross back there, which is so cool as well. Absolutely delighted with this dress, cannot wait to wear it. I'd say I'm gonna wear it like every single day, to be honest, it's so nice. And this dress, it said it was 17 on the label, but after when I checked my receipts, I got it for seven. So I don't know if that was a fluke, some luck, or whatever the hell it was, but I am so delighted with this and yay. 
The next thing that I got in pennies was something that's very essential this summer. Shoes. Shoes. And it's sandals. Um, I got chunky sandals because I am obsessed with chunky shoes lately. And I got these black ones. They're kind of like jelly shoe style, but they've got kind of a fake leather material to them with thick buckles and they're exactly what I was looking for. I'm so happy with them. They're 18 euro, which is, you know, it's all right. I'm pretty happy to pay 18 euro for a good sturdy pair of shoes. They'll be really handy for walking, wherever I need to go. They look so good with everything I've tried on. I put them on the other day, they're so comfy. Love these, yay! The last thing that I will show you that I got from Penny's is actually something I got a few weeks ago, but it's still in the shop. It's this boho, shock I said boho, this boho skirt and it's got such a nice pattern to it and it's real light and flowy and so good for the sun. I had it on the other day and it's just the comfiest thing ever. I love long skirts, they make me look like the lankiest thing ever but I don't really care because I'm lanky anyway, I'm kind of used to it. But I love this, love, 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 love. And I keep saying love but that's because I won't buy something unless I am 100% sure that I will wear it endless amounts of times. So moving on, I did a bit of a haul in boots as well. First off, I got BB cream and I got medium because I'm hoping to get a tan. Praise the Lord, please. Usually I would get light, but I said I'd go for medium this time. This is my first time buying BB cream, but I have seen so many people wear it and I always ask them, like, what foundation do you have on? And they always have BB cream. It looks so flawless on people. SPF 30 as well so I can wear it in the sun and hopefully get a tan while I'm wearing it. The next item I got in boots is this Bit Anti Shine Stick. Now I have gone through about five of these because I am absolutely obsessed with it. The colour I got is 120 Classic Ivory and Vanilla and this is the colour I've always gotten. Such a great stick. You could literally put it on, you wouldn't even need any powder and I always use powder but I swear with this you barely need it. This costs about a tenner. So, not too bad, but it wastes so quickly, which makes me so upset, but it's great for kind of contouring and stuff, and I have the foundation of 120 to match it, so they go really well together. Usually I would buy a product and I would use it to the end and then kind of move on to the next one, but this one, I have kept buying it because it's that good. I am really, really recommend this. Next thing I got is the only other thing that I would keep using, of the same brand and that is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Usually I get shade 002 but I got 003. This is really good powder. I actually just dropped it before I did this haul and it didn't break so thank you Lord. The next thing I got in boots was this Rimmel eyebrow pencil and it's got a little brush on the top of it and I have ra I had just ran out of my eyebrow pencil and I usually use the Essence light brown but they didn't have Essence. I think Essence is gone. If it is, could someone please comment and tell me because I'm actually pretty sad about that. But I got this Rimmel brown pencil for my eyebrows and I have it on now and I think it's a pretty good color for my hair color. So I'm pretty happy with that and it's really good for putting on and then when you brush it, it kind of smudges into the eyebrows, which I really like. The next thing I got from Boots was obviously sun cream because it is an essential this summer. And this is Factor 15, and I love the invisible sprays. I don't really like creams, I find them sticky and annoying. And I just got this Boots one because it's pretty cheap, and I just think some cream, it all does the same job, so whatever. This is Sultan, and it's UVA five stars, and it's Factor 15. And I got 15 because I'm taking hand luggage only to Italy, so I can't bring sun cream with me. So I got 15 for when I'm in Benidorms because I will hopefully be a bit darker and my skin will be a bit more used to the sun at that stage. The last thing on my list is After Sun. And I got this, it's Banana Boat Aloe After Sun Lotion. And I got, usually I get the just aloe vera gel, the green kind of bubbly gel. But I got this because it's a moisturizer as well and it has vitamin E in it and it is supposed to extend your tan. And I got this and then I got one for free. So it was buy one, get one free. And I was delighted about that. It's really good, real thick and I used it the other day and I like the way that there's a pump on it because you can just put it in your hands nice and tidy and clean. I always find bottles can be sticky 
and they just get all over the place and you always have the fear of them bursting in your suitcase which is not what you want. I would definitely recommend this. I usually use Hawaiian, which are the green one with the kind of, it looks almost like a maxi twist. I used to use that but I went into Boots and it was a bottle for this size and it was like 20 euro and I was like did I did I actually pay for that before for that price I just couldn't believe it I felt like such a dipshit so I got this for 13 euro and I got another one so buy one get one free 13 euro where would you be going so that was my haul. Hopefully I will be taking vlogs when I go to Italy and when I go to Benidorm and I will be wearing the products that I have showed you in this video which is going to be cool for you guys to see that they're actually being worn and used. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I say that in every video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, I genuinely do. So if you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, I will put the link to my Facebook channel down there and you can give it a like and keep up to date with what I'm at and stuff. Woo! So that is all for today. I will talk to y'all later. Bye!